Your skin is looking more healthier and moisturized. Don't tell me that fruit tea's working. Hell yeah, it is. Hell yeah, it is. All right. Hey. Looks like you're even uh, you're able to focus even with all this noise. Ah. <laughs> uh. So actually, should I be able to uh, do the Big Bang challenge? All right. Wanna head back? I might be able to. Now that I think about it. Maybe. Oh no, I don't think I will be able to, unfortunately. Ah, you're back. Everyone's comments used to be so encouraging, but now they're kind of a they're actually kind of frightening. This is utter chaos. The public dislike of Okamura has grown ex exponentially as well. How are you holding up, Haru? They've been we've been receiving anonymous threats almost every day now. That's scary. But our security is tight, so it's been okay so far. I believe things will calm down once we finish this, Haru. And what about us? Are we gonna get all popular and shit again? Let's not concern ourselves with that for now. I can only I excuse me. I only pray that things calm down. And another box came for you. What'd you get? I got my donut worry. Must be what you ordered off the TV. Sajiro! Hey! Yeah, let's help him out, man. Sorry, and thanks. Oh, the regulars will be here any minute. I like hanging out with Sajiro. He's cool. Don't you ever get lonely, Sochan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Have you given up on marriage? All I want in a relationship is spicy stimulation followed by some smooth, relaxing comfort. And I can get both of those things from my curry and my coffee. That's enough for me. He always dodges my questions like that, and he's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? I admire it. You can admire me all you want, but I don't recommend trying to follow in my footsteps. <laughs> Anyway, the only thing I care about in my life in life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax in here. Come back anytime, okay? Hey. She seemed espe especially aggressive today, huh? Would have been bad if she pushed any further. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far and not too close. Well, cut. <sighs> You just don't know when to give up, do you? Well, I just learned something very interesting. Futaba's been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? That's not good parenting. Yeah, and what do you have what have you done to care for her? You know quite well what I've done, and it's about time you pay up. Don't be ridiculous. Futaba had a terrible life living with you. Plus, I already gave you most of the inheritance for custody. Is that still not enough for you? We could always find out in court. I wonder who'd win between a blood relative and mere legal guardian. You. Oh, and you, not to mention that kid you got, you have here. I heard all about him and his criminal record. That leaves us with a parent who won't let her go to a school and a delinquent housemate on probation. Doesn't quite seem like, doesn't quite seem to be the best environment for Futaba now, does it? Shut your motherfucking whore mouth. You have a problem, Cunt Punt? Punk, I'll sue you for intimidation. You can't sue me for that, you dumbass. Jay, just keep your neck out of this. Get on, just get on stairs. Just get on upstairs, okay? Come on, let me smack him. Sujiro, I hunger. <sighs> oh. Futaba-san, Chan, no lo long time no see. I, I, I... Futaba! See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck, and this is clearly not a healthy situation. She's only like this because she saw you here. Huh. Don't make me repeat myself. You can't beat me in court, so you may as well just give me the money. Huh. Well, I hope you reached the right decision. Bye now. Asshole. Futaba, you should just head home for today. I'll take you. Sujiro. <sighs> Futaba's okay, and all that drama must have tired her out. 
She fell asleep right after we got home. That man is Futaba's uncle. After Wakaba died, Futaba was passed around all all was passed around all her relatives. Her place was the his place was the last. He treated her like garbage. He never fed her and forced her to sleep on the floor like an art animal. He didn't even let her bathe. Once I learned that, I knew I had to step in. I couldn't stand for that kind of horrible treatment, so I decided to take Futaba under my care. Even back then, his, he was whining about all the damn expenses. I threw some ca some cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed, but now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. Saving Futaba was no mistake. <laughs> thanks. Never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Either way, though, it's my... It's my fault Futaba didn't leave her room. I just didn't know how to help her through it. I'd make Curry leave it by her door and go. If not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. So I, if you asked me whether I deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. They say blood's thicker than water, right? I wonder what would be best for her, Futaba. Sorry. <laughs> Look at me spilling all my... Uh... Spilling my heart out to a punk like you. Now it's kind of weird. For some reason, I feel like telling you this stuff. It's like you're peering into my heart. <laughs> I guess there really is something special about you. I feel like my bond with Sajira is growing deeper. Yeah! Allows you to make coffee, which greatly restores SP to one alley. Nice. All right. Coffee mastery. It's that late already? I'm going home. I should be heading home. I'm still worried about Futaba. Don't stay up too late, you hear? Oh. And thanks. I can see the compassion hidden beneath Sajira's accents. I can feel my kindness growing. Hell yeah. Oh got that empathetic. Alright. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! That's what I like to see. I just want my charm up, damn it. That's another thing I need to do. I need to go to the video store and buy some more movies. Do you think the Phantom Thieves will do the same thing to that CEO that they did for our principal? I mean, come on. They aren't gonna murder him. Besides, I'm pretty sure the principal killed himself. No way, that was the Phantom Thieves sending a message. Wake up, people, it's time to atone, or something like that. I'd kill for that kind of power. Ah, uh, fanboys. Piece of shits. <laughs> Bang! Do 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 Yo, I've been looking into Yamauchi today. I thought I'd give you an update. Apparently, he's been hanging out at the Monja Yaki shop a lot. I heard he gets real drunk there and brags to his co-workers. Ain't this a good t chance for us? If we can get close, we might be able to get intel out of him. Need notice you. Right, that's where you come in. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere near him. But that ain't the case for you. I bet you could even sit next to his booth if you wanted, probably. So, I'll let you know once I figure out when he's dr going drinking. So then, we're gonna be put our put a hold on our training. Well, I'll be counting on you. Uh, sure, we, we'll hang out with her today. We've done all that we can. All we have to do is wait, contact me if something comes up. I'll be out at school for a while. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, hang out with Makoto today. Let's develop Makoko. <laughs> My Coco. All we can do now is wait. Alright, I wanted to ask you a, a favor about the student that we saw in the red light district. I feel like I could become closer with Makoto thanks to the high priestess persona Kirkuri Homo Hime. Hime? I feel like my bond with Makoto will grow stronger soon. So, what's it going to be? Do you want to hang out with Makoto? Yes, hang out with her. Thank you. It'll be nice to have you 
there when I talk to her. Wait for me in the student council room. I'll call her in. Oh boy. Time to do some interrogation. <laughs> Excuse me. Takao-san. Uh, Aiko Takao-san. You've been spending time in the red light district lately, haven't you? Both myself and Kanesane saw you there. Based on where you are heading, I... I, we assume you're working at a store called the After School Salon. How is it working there? What do you mean? It's just a normal ca cafe. They make me wear a costume and stuff, but that's it. Oh, and if I don't have to do anything weird, if you know what I mean. It's totally legal. Hmm, hmm. so you ensure nothing strange is going on. Yep, yep. And the worst... Sorry, I had to look at something. The worst I get is some old weird guys gawking at me. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? Uh, fine. I mean, I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Oh, I see. But they'd probably totally bug me about what I'm buying if I did that. That's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money there. Plus, the guys who come there... Uh, in their, like, mega pamper me. Mega pamper? It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know? I'm sure some super honor student like you gets that all the time, though. Anyways, are you gonna tell on me? You don't- you even brought a witness today. Hold up, doesn't that mean you're- you two are in Shinjuku together? What's up with that, Miss Prez? So what if we were together? Hey, don't say that th things that could be taken the wrong way. It's simply an errand I asked him to accompany me on. That's it. At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't have I don't plan on telling anyone. Oh, I get it. So we're like protecting each other's secrets. Oh crap. I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. You're a real badass, Pre Miss Prez. I told you that's not how it is. I just I was just worried you've got been getting wrapped up in some shady business, so I asked him here to support for support. Hmm, eh, whatever. BT dubs, I was wondering. Is that what Buchimaru's Kun's is that Buchimaru Kun pencil case? Huh? You know Buchimaru Kun? I had like tons of Buchi stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast from the past. Wait, why is it so beat up? Well, it was given to me when I was in, still in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they've stopped selling Buchi Mar Maru Kun merchandise. OMG, this is too hilarious. The student council president has an adorable pencil case. My image of you has gone like a complete 360 today. Um, isn't that a fur isn't that a full circle? Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just real surprised. I don't- you don't really look like the kind of person who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess I just had to get to know you better. Hey, why don't you trade- why don't we trade phone numbers? I really want to talk to you more about Buchimaru-kun and your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Hey, she's not denying it. Wait, he's not- dang it. He's not my boyfriend. And saved. Oh crap, it's getting this late already? I'm- I've gotta get to work. And send you tons of pics to my Buchimaru-kun collection. Later, though. Bye-bye! <sighs> she was all over the place. Honestly, though, I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot. Beep boop. <laughs> Don't let it get to you. I won't. I'm aware of how one could perceive me that way. You know, I believe that Takao, what Takao said about me is how others think as well. I thought I had changed after the incident with Kaneshiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. That aside, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I don't know why I went into kind of a southern accent there. I'm going to try to look at things a little differently from now on. Well. And, well, I think 
that will help me break out of my shell. I hope you're ready. I'm going to show you how useful an honor student can really be. I can sense a quiet resolve from Makoto. A chance to step in after shadow negotiation fails, allowing a retry. Nice. All right. Yay! I'll be interested to speak with Takao some more now that I know, now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I should, I can correct her misconceptions about you. And as always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. I'll see you later. See you, Makoto. Alrighty. Ah, you're back. Jeez, a whole bunch of people want to freaking hang out. I'm thirsty for info. <laughs> I have a request. No test today. Instead, I have a request for you. Will you please hear me out? Sure. Why not? Uh, thank you so much. Can we talk after I close shop? I'll contact you again later when we for when to meet up. Alright. Kane-san, san honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I, s ha I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? You're only realizing it now? Do you want to test it again? Well, of course, but I'm not. Sh but I'm sure that would only end in disappointment. You know, I wondered in the past whether fate re really can be changed, but I always concluded that it was something beyond our control, almost like a laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there still there exist people like you who can ignore those thoughts and impose their own will upon the world. Um... How can I become one of those people, Kanesane? Trust in yourself. What? Trust in myself instead of my fortune telling? I've never thought of it that way before. The city keeps finding ways to subvert my expecta expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, Kanesane. It was a small, traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. That sounds so peaceful. During the winter, it practically in inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There I... It doesn't matter anymore. I, I left that place to come to this city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to d care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help people who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do so much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my c clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head-on with my own strength. Although, the chairman would be really mad if he found out. The chairman? Oh, don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time... I think it'll work. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange, at least until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. <laughs> nice. Yay! All right. Well, thank you for coming today. For, thank you for today, Kanesane. Until next time. Good night. All right, cool. 
I never ask this. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful uh, morning, evening, whatever, you, whenever you're out watching this. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. Morning. Oh, good morning. Hello, love. How are you? The day Haru is going to get sent off is almost here. We took the treasure, so we all we have to do is wait. Still, I wish we could do something in the meantime. Why don't we go to Mementos today? Yeah, let's do that, sure. Get deeper in there. Okay. Great, I want to do these things when we can. If the president has a change of heart, maybe our reputation will go up and we will get more requests. Well, see you. Let's meet up after school then. See you there. Alright. Hi, everyone. Let's get started with class. How far did we go last time? Well... Is this on? Miss Trono, please come to the faculty office at once. What could this be? I'm off to the faculty office, so make sure you study on your own. Kawakami's graciously given us this free time, so we better put it to good use. What so what's the plan? Um... Let's sleep. I guess sleep yeah. is important for kids your age. Sleep tight. <laughs> I had a dream where I couldn't make it to the place where Yuji and I agreed to meet up. Glad it was just a dream. Hey. What could that have been about? Oh, well, let's resume class. Yep. Phew, that was close. Karakami helped us with a good chunk of free time, though. Might as well get our sleepykins off. Oh yeah, we said we meet at the hideout. Let's go. Okay, let's head there now. Kawakami is the best social link. Confirmed. Everyone's here. Done all we can. Do you think we should try heading to Intermentos? Yeah, let's do that. You sure? We don't get we don't got a target. That's fine. I'm gonna bust loose. Gosh dang it, not again. Put your pants back on, Ryu. You put your pants back on. God damn it. <laughs> Sicko. Alright. Uh, How actually, you, I kind of want to change up the team here. So, let's go ahead and put basically the other three. Well, actually, let's keep Haru, but... Hey. Counting on you, oh. uh, Makoto. Let's put Ryuji in as well. Joker. Huh? Uh, yeah. Let's put Shisuke in, and because and you know what? Let's. Uh, I still want to kind of mess around with Haru. So. Well, then. All right, Joker. What do you want to do? Let's uh start part way in. Area 12. <laughs> we made it. I'll let you decide what we do going forward, Joker. Alright. Doesn't look like it's going to open. Guess this wall is a no-go unless we can get more people to accept us. Damn it! Speaking of gods, have you heard about the god who performed a lewd dance to open a sealed rock door? Hmm, I think I see what you're getting at. Go for it, Skull. I'm out of here. Oh, well, never mind then. Oops. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, so we can't go down here and, until we, uh, until we actually get the one cutscene thing. You know what I mean? Nah, you don't know what I mean. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's get the heck out of here then. If this is just gonna be stupid, not let us through. Bum, 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 bum. 
Ah, you're back. Any changes, Haru? Nothing, unfortunately. Father is still indisposed. How are things with you, Haru? Has anything happened with the media? Hopefully they haven't been horrible to you. Thank you. Though they will surely say a great deal about my father, but I'm determined to push through it. Society doesn't care what may be going on as long as it is enough to kill their perpetual boredom. They don't even consider how their words might hurt others. They think caring about people is something someone else's job. Makes me want to puke. There's nothing we can do about it though, that though. And everything they say about father is true. But it's important to remember that there was someone else in the shadows behind the shutdowns. Until we can bring their crimes to light, this won't end. We'll find the true culprit for sure. Naturally. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a heller. God damn it, is this freaking life is strange? Uh, uh, a heller. Good victory when we expose that criminal for who he really is. Either way, we'll need to wait for Haru's father to recover. We'll have plenty of time to ask him about it then. The one behind the mental shutdowns. It has to be someone dangerous. Now that we're getting closer to the truth, we need to be ready for absolutely anything. Let's uh, go ahead and yeah, get that massage. What? You're seriously requesting a massage? Fine. Alright. Yeah, come give me... How's the pressure, master? When you press down here, it hurts... On this area, it hurts so much. Oh, you just fidgeted a little, didn't you? Phew, master. that should do it. Cool. Oh. See you later. Feeling energized. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Big Bang Burger. Alright. Welcome to Big Bang Burger, open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. Take the challenge. Yes. Let's do it. I had a freaking awesome burger today uh, from Chili's. I haven't been to Chili's in a long ass Thank you time. Very much. But, uh. Now then. I love how everyone looks at it like, holy shit. Whole head of lettuce in here. Nice. Oh man. If enthusiasm is in the face of dang of in the face of adversity, though. <laughs> so it's my proficiency that's sucking. Okay. All right. I need to work on it then. I need to work on my proficiency then. What was it that I got proficiency from? There was something that I got it from, but I don't remember what it was. Damn it. Well, if today is another free day, then... Hey! Should we read something until we get there? There's, like, nothing really good. I guess, yeah, we'll check hey. out the date spots. This book is about Seaside Park, right? Don't you already know about Seaside Park? Is there any point in reading it? All right. Oh, okay. Let's do this one, then. Hey. Gosh dang it. I guess not. Did you Hold change on. Your mind? Were you, you were able to grab a seat, but you're not reading? Don't feel like reading. I see. I suppose we'll just sit here and relax until we get there, then. I don't have any books to read, dude. Okay, today I'm gonna go. Open. 